Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Perfect Genetics Challenge. We're here with uh, Candyman himself, <laughs> Candy Care, Candy, Cotton Candy <laughs> Man himself. Um, so everyone has kind of popped out because if you haven't seen my update video, things have kind of went crazy lately. But if you want to know what's been going on, definitely check out the update video that I just posted before this and you will know all of that goes on. Okay, so, um, let's get you to put, uh, Brent back in the crib and I'm going to have you go back to sleep. I'm going to have you go back to sleep. Um... Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Go to sleep. Everyone, go ahead. All right. Yes. <laughs> Let me turn the volume up a little bit in my headset. It's a little bit quiet. Oh, it's raining out. I didn't even. I couldn't even hear that before. Couldn't even hear that. All right. Here we go. All right. So she's in bed. Spencer. Spencer's climbing through the wall into bed. This is not normal. Okay. And then you, my friend, you're going to go to sleep as well. So I hope you guys all had a very wonderful Christmas. I got the new Sims 4 mouse, so my mouse should be much better. It's a little bit faster than my last one, so it's like I'm all over the place sometimes, and I don't mean to be, but I am. Um, so since everyone's in bed, including Mr. Brent, who's not sleeping, I'm going to go ahead and cut out, and I will be back in just a second when they're getting up for their day. Be back in just a second. All right, so Marina's up, and today's wedding day, but we have to take care of the baby first. So let's go ahead and take care of Brent. Let's give him a bottle. We'll go ahead and snuggle him. We will play with him and snuggle him again. And then I thought about bringing him downstairs and putting him in one of the baby swings, but we don't really have one, but we could buy one. Um, that wouldn't be actually that big of a deal. Okay, and it looks like Adeline is up as well. So let's go ahead and let her eat some of the blueberry pancakes that are in there. Got some gifts that we need to accept as well. Go, Adeline, go! Woohoo! So, quickly, I will briefly inform you. There was a bit of a... Ooh, it's Marina's birthday today on her wedding day. Weird. Um, so there was a bit of a issue with my game. And it literally stopped working. Um, so I actually had to uh, reinstall all of my games. So that was amazing. And so it should be running better. Even better than it was before. So that's amazing. I'm loving, I'm loving it. Loving it. Loving it. I'm loving it. All right. After you change his diaper, go ahead and snuggle him. Put him in the crib. And then we're going to get you downstairs. We're going to get you to eat some blueberry pancakes. Blueberry pancakes. All right, and when you're done, you can go ahead and clean up your dish, use, and shower. All right. Okay, so we're going to let someone get the gifts as well. Whoa. Whoa. We'll just go back to sleep. No one is going to, like, you know, kill you. It's not going to kill you. He woke you up for once. Damien, you three star celebrity, you. <laughs> All right, Ruben Lidler. Okay, child support. Mm, scuffle in that payment, isn't he? All right, let's get you in here. Mom, you really need to change your night hour, night wear. <laughs> Inappropriate for children. So we're probably going to do that today, and I'm actually going to make sure everyone's outfits are good for the part, the wedding. So when you get up, plan your outfit. I don't think, yeah, you guys have your own dressers, so... When you get up, plan your outfit. And I'm going to get you to plan your outfit when you're done. I just don't remember what I put everyone in for, and I want it to be nice for the wedding. So we'll pretend like she's our flower girl, he's the ring bearer, and then we have mom and dad wedding, a bride and groom, and then the, the baby, well, you know. <laughs> we'll just pretend the baby is, you know, <laughs> the groomsman. <laughs> oh, no. All right. June Zhu and William Fangman have decided to move into a new home. Okay. Alright, so they bought a house. They bought a house. A bought a housey housey house. How are we doing on leftovers? Okay, there's still some leftovers for everyone else when they get up. So go ahead and eat some blueback. Oh, they're blackberry. I mean, they haven't been saying blueberry this whole time. <sighs> okay, well, anyways. Alright. So, as you can tell, 
some of my custom content's not in the game anymore, so Adeline's outfit's a little bit different. We'll fix it. I promise. We will give her some new shoes because this is kind of inappropriate. She does need some new shoes. Oh, yeah, and I got the new um, movie... I got the... Not the new. I get the movie stuff pack for Christmas as well, so... Got that in here now, too. All right, let's go ahead and just give her... I think these were the shoes that we gave her, wasn't it? I really don't know. I'm just going to give her those and... I don't know. All right, for formal... What do you have for formal for outfits? Oh, no. She had the adorable, like, schoolgirl outfit. It was adorable. Yeah, I'm good with that. And sleepwear was fine. You had the pajamas on. And then athletics. What do you have? That's fine. It looks the same as when I gave it to you. You've got a swimsuit on. Career. Not really sure what that's about, but okay. And then your outerwear should be pretty much okay. Absolutely fine. See? Nothing for her really changed. There's still some custom in my custom stuff in my game, but not as much custom stuff. So either I'll download more or I won't. I don't know. Depends on how I feel about what's in here. And for her, perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and let her come out here. She can accept gifts from a friend. Oh, yeah, they are Blackberry. Oh my goodness, I've been saying Blueberry this whole time. I'm so I'm so embarrassed. It's okay. That's okay. All right, Adeline, you're going to be our gift getter. <laughs> go get them gifts. <laughs> All right, so let's scroll down to the bottom. We have hybrid baby, perfect genetics. All right, here we go. This is from Purple Bookworm. For your perfect genetics challenge, love your LPs. Oh, well, thank you so much, and thank you for the gift. We just got the Diva Doll poster. Absolutely. Adeline could use this in her bedroom. So thank you so much for this. Let me go ahead and send you back a gift. Yes. Mm-hmm. Thanks for, whoops, for the poster for, if I could spell, <laughs> Adeline in my perfect, whoops, genetics LP. All right, let me go ahead and copy that, and I'll send that back to you. Perfect. All right, moving on up. Um... Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so this is from Akina 1977. It says, thanks for the sunflower for Georgia and my genie personal game. Well, you're so very welcome. And thank you for the Bracken living room chair. We could actually absolutely use that. Let me go ahead and send you back a gift as well. Oops. And put... Living room chair. No, not chat. Chat or whatever it was saying. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. This is from Dat West Virginia Girl. It says, thanks for the duck. We are so very welcome. And thank you for the telescope. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. Uh, we could have someone learn the logic skills. Skillage. All right. So let me put telescope here. Telescope. Right. This is from Science 1077. It says, hi. Have a very Merry Christmas. We are so... Uh, thank you so much. And I hope you had a very Merry Christmas as well. And a very Happy New Year's as well. Because that's coming up probably by the time you get this. It'll probably be New Year's. So, <laughs> here we go. Let's go ahead and take this here. We just got another Diva Doll poster. So, thank you so much for that. I um, almost clicked no by accident, and I did not mean to, so don't take offense to that. Um, let's see. Yep, poster. Perfect. All right, here we go. Moving on up. This is from Mini Amy 2014 It says, have not been able to send gifts in a while, but now I can, so here you go. Well, that's all right, but thank you so much for sending me a gift, um, and I hope you're having the greatest holidays as well. So here we go. Uh, tabletop edition lamp. Thank you so much. Let me go ahead and send you back a gift as well. And I think this is my last gift of the day, folks. So here we go. Let's send you back a table lamp message. Table lamp. 
Perfect. All right. And then that's from Minnie Amy. Minnie Amy, Minnie Amy. All right. This is from Hockey Bell. This is thanks for the treadmill. Any LP? Well, you're still very welcome. And thank you for the Fern Keeper Deluxe. I am all out of gifts. I do apologize. Uh, this is from Meta Living 2. It's a message from the game. I'm going to go ahead and take it here. We just got a hot beverage maker. Thank you so much. This is from Froggy87. Message from the game. I'm going to go ahead and take it here. We just got 300 simoleons. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. That is it, actually. So I'm going to hold off on the rest of the gifts. And we did pretty well, I think. Um, okay, Apollo Bloom and Maddie Crew have boiled over. Apollo is moving out. All right. Okay, you can go do what you want. Actually, you wanted to read a book about logic. Do we have a book about logic? Read. We don't have a book in here about logic? Are you kidding me? Have you done your homework? You have. All right, fine. Fine. Whoa! <laughs> Just whipping me somewhere else. I don't know. Just put me in Kratos' household. Oh, Devin is the father of a new baby girl. Tiara just gave birth to a baby girl named Deanne. She's so pretty. I think she's beautiful. All right, so this is her every day. She came with. She came in the game, so I'm guessing she probably doesn't have the greatest outfit for formal. I don't know, though. I don't remember if we changed up her clothes or not. I know this is what she had when we met her, so I'm not really 100% sure. But we'll see. Chabadoo. Uh, yeah, it's cute and all. I don't mind it. I'm actually just gonna give her a second outfit for the wedding because I wouldn't want her wearing a wedding dress for the rest of her life, you know. So I'm gonna give her something else. But she can keep this as like her first formal, and then like she'll I'll delete the second one after the wedding, pretty much. So so. So I just want to give her like a formal dress and like a formal wedding dress, really, because we're having a wedding, obviously. And I'm guessing this is the first time she's been married because I haven't seen like an ex in her like friends bar. So I'm thinking this is the first time she's been uh, married. So she's gonna wear a white gown. If it wasn't, I would just give her any color, really. I mean, I could give her white on her second if she really wanted to, but normally you just wear it for your first wedding. But, um, let's just see what we can find. Like, this is really cute. It'd be really cute in white as well. But I'm not going to give it to her in white. Most of this is just my store content as well, guys. So if you guys are like, oh my goodness, you have so much custom content and you told me you didn't have any. It's so not custom. It's not like third party is what I mean. I don't have very much third party anymore. It's pretty much all gone. All gone zoned. This is normally what I use as a wedding dress. Um... So that's like probably what we're going to go with. But as you can see, I have a couple things here and there, but not that much. Ooh, but we do have this as well, which is another beautiful gown. And I like this one, but I also like this one as well. They're a bit different. If you don't know the differences, just flip back and forth and you'll notice that, that one has a necklace, which is normally the one that I go with. Actually, I think I'm going to go with this for her. I don't know. The, the boob part of it is kind of weird. I must say that. But, um, yeah, I think that's okay. And then we'll just give her some shoes. I mean, it's really cute. I think I might give her, like, something, like a, I know they have, like, those hairstyles that have, like, the, um, what's called on it. But to give her one of those would be really kind of obnoxious because it would change all of her hairstyles. And we would have to go back through and change everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give her these shoes. I know where they are if I could just find them. We could give her these shoes. They wouldn't be bad. You can't see them anyways. Um, but we also have these ones. But I'll just go with these because they're white. All right. For sleepwear, I definitely want to change up her sleepwear because I don't well, think this huh? is appropriate for having children walking around and seeing you in this. It's just really not appropriate in my eyes. So... I'm going to give her something that I find to be appropriate. I don't know why E puts this as a bedtime thing. It's kind of weird to me. I don't know. Maybe it's not to you guys, but it is to me. I certainly would not put my Sims in that. <laughs> I think this is cute, but I don't know. I kind of see it as a dress more than like a nighty. Mm. What else could we give her? These are cute. I really like these as well. I'm going to give her the blue one, actually. It covers her, so that's all that really matters. Yeah, it's not really that long. And, you, like, if you turn her just right, you can see underneath it. But, I mean, it's her children as well. So, you know, I could see I could see her walking around in this and it being okay. 
I mean, it's her kids as well. So it's just a bra and panties is a little bit less than, you know, being covered completely. All right, athletics. I'm just going to check and see what she has. She doesn't really do much athletics guys, so this is fine. I'm not going to worry about it. Swimwear. Uh, I'm guessing she has a outfit on. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, no big deal. All right, and then outerwear. Let's see what she's got for this. Gazork. Mm, yeah, we're going to have to change that. Let's just give her this. Those pants are fine. And then I'm just going to give her the boots that you guys know that I love. I really thought these boots were gone. These uh, these boots here, I thought they were gone forever. And I was really upset. <laughs> I was really upset. And then I saw that they were in here and I was like, oh, my life is so much better. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought I had lost them after I had done install everything. That was one of my like big things. I was like all sad about you know losing my custom content and stuff. You know I spend a lot of time finding all that stuff. You know and then to lose it like that, it's just it's frustrating and not fair and it makes me angry. <laughs> I get so riled up about stupid stuff. Um, these, this is not really working out. These pants just don't work with this. Okay, I want to wear these shoes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I want to wear these shoes is what I'm saying. I want to find something that's going to work with them. So let's just keep looking. Does this work? These pants work. They're not really the best pants in my eyes, but they do work. So we could go with them if we really wanted to. These pants, I don't think they work. These ones would if we wanted. No, they won't. <laughs> the the boots glitched them out a bit. All right. Well, huh. those ones are kind of close. Maybe if I put them in black, though, you wouldn't even realize. Mm, you still kind of realize. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I put them in like a color that you don't really realize. I'm gonna go with these ones because they work the best that I can find. And let's just take the stupid gloves off because we. I really don't want gloves. I really don't. Um, is there no music or is it just me? I don't hear any music. Um, okay, let's take these stupid gloves off. As you can notice, things are loading faster as well, I feel, so it makes me happy. All right, so I'm going to go with that for her outerwear, and I think that's fine. Okay, I could have given her a different hairstyle, and I probably will after her birthday, which is today, so I probably should have just done it, but we can always do that, you know, another time. All right. All right. Uh, you want to congratulate Heath. I don't even know who that is, unfortunately. So go ahead and use, and you can take a shower as well. Um, I guess now that you have the time, why don't you just change your appearance right now? Uh, the baby's upstairs. We'll just change her appearance now. We'll give her a different hairstyle because she's about to become an adult. So now that she is about to become an adult, I normally try to give them, you know, a different hairstyle. More adult hairstyle. Not saying that this isn't an adult hairstyle at all. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that normally I just try to give them something else. Um, not this on her. I think she might look pretty with it. Mm, no. Nah. With this. Mm. I like her with the long hair, but this is really cute on her. I might have to go with it. <laughs> I just might. <gasps> See, as you can tell, I do have some of my hairstyles in here. This is really pretty on her, but I use it for a lot of people, so I'm going to try and not use it. Um, This might be cute on her. Mm, I don't know. I don't really like it. I mean, it's not bad. It's just, it's not like what I was thinking for her. Um, this is cute on her, though. Hmm. Look, there was a weird one that came with the, the movie stuff that I saw, and it was like, it blew my mind. It was really crazy. I think a lot came with it, act actually. I think a lot came with the... Like, this one is freaking crazy. Why would I want this? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, this isn't bad on her, though. You know what? I'm going to go with that. I kind of like it. 
You guys may hate it, but I think it's kind of cute on her. So, you know what? I'm gonna go with it. Alright. Does give her a different look. Definitely gives her a more mature look, I think. So, we'll give her that. And there we go. I mean, she still looks pretty much the same, you know? But different, you know, you know what I mean? Alright, so she made a new outfit for herself, which is fine. Um, okay. So she ages up today. So I don't know if I should do the birthday before the wedding or what I should do, really. Um, how are we doing on food? Oh my goodness, someone else is going into the dresser. I have no idea who this one is. Okay, so here we go. Let's get your clothes taken care of. Just want to make sure that his clothes are still the same. That's pretty much what we're here for. Alright, so there's his everyday. How about your formal? I'm guessing I gave you a tux for formal and... Yeah, you're pretty much fine. You know? Alright, uh, sleepwear we saw was perfectly fine. Um, athletics. Probably gave you these shorts and another shirt. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Um, okay, if you want to wear those pants, that's fine. Let's just give you like a blue shirt or something. Actually, that looks fine. That looks fine. Let's go with it. Swimwear. Probably just gave you, like, shorts. There we go. And outerwear, jacket, pants, and shoes. And gloves. Okay. Yep, you're good. You are good to go to the wedding. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay, so here we go. Um, he made a new outfit for himself. He didn't really. He only switched one thing, which was his athletic shirt, I think. What was it? Alright. You gonna go take your shower and stuff? We're not gonna do this. Um, you want to buy an alchemy station and learn the painting skill. Alright, well, when you're done, go ahead and paint small. Who's going into it now? Oh, it's, um, Damien. Alright, Damien, hurry up, my friend. Alright, your sleepwear is fine. How about your every day? I need to check his formal, because I don't even know what I gave him for formal. That's bad. <laughs> Is every day okay, or are we going to have to switch you out into something else? He's still thinking about it. <laughs> well, let me just, you know, <laughs> take my few moments here <laughs> to figure out what I really want to be in. <laughs> Alright, you're fine there. I know that's what you had. Okay, formal. I'm guessing I gave you a tux, but I have no idea. So we're going to check and make sure because we don't want to get to the wedding and be ambushed by some like crazy outfit and be like pressured to like change him in like a minute. So cool. yeah, and that's fine. And we already seen your sleepwear. How about your athletics? Let's just check it all while I'm in here. Must, you know, might as well. All right, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We want to get on with this wedding. Oh, is that derpa? That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Swimwear. Probably just swimming trunks, most likely. Meeb. And outerwear is a jacket, pants, and shoes, which is normally what I give everyone. Um, maybe not. I have no idea. Arms <laughs> a cheek. A sweater, pants, and shoes. Okay. Pretty much a jacket for him. <laughs> All right, so that's fine. I'm good with that. I'm good with your outfits. All right, so everyone is ready for the wedding from what I can tell. I don't remember what time I started the party. All right, he made a new outfit for himself as well. That's fine. All right, let's get you down here. Did I already tell you to eat the blackberry pancake? I did, okay. So you go ahead and eat those, and then you can um, use and clean. All right, she's just having a blast over there. She just like blows from past. Okay, we'll go ahead and let you paint a small. I don't know what time we should head out. Probably soon, I would guess. What is she doing? Um, turning on the radio. Okay, she wants to marry Damien and get married. So she's gonna get like uh ten thousand points today, and he's only gonna get five. <laughs> And then poor Brent. I don't know what we're going to do with him. I don't know if we should bring him or not. It is raining and it's an outdoors wedding. Um, so I really don't know what to do, honestly. Oh, instead she's going to watch TV with the music on. 
Do I still have mu do I have music muted? Can't remember. Did I mute it? No, it's not muted. I just can't hear it. Okay. That's fine. Uh, what's the volume at? I don't know, I just can't hear it. Um, Tom Wordy and Sugar Bajau got into a heated argument in front of the store. Okay. Uh, let's change this to... Oh, it is on pop. Okay. Alright. So, I think once everyone's done getting ready, I think we're gonna head over. I mean, we gotta bring a cake. We gotta bring a cake today. So we're gonna stop at the store and pick one up on the way over. Oh, we already had a telescope. I had no idea. Oh, it looks like it's clearing up for our wedding. Woohoo! All right, Mom, why don't you go upstairs and pick up, um, I think his name's Brent. Pick up Brent and then go here. And I'll have you run there so that you guys are, well, just go pick him up and come down here. Following Simpson moved in with Layla Round, Buster Round, and Captain Dog. Alright, the kids are ready to go. They're just kind of wasting time right now, so... I mean, I want to get this done. Alright. Come on out here. It's your wedding day. Get ready. I know, you're publicly disgraced. I'm having a child out of wedlock. Well, we're going to fix that today. We're going to get you guys married, and things are going to be going fantabulous, and... You're going to be so happy. Okay, I need to make sure that what's up here is what I remember being up here. So let's see. I know we're having it here um, because the wedding arch and everything should be here. Should be. I almost had a heart attack. I was like, oh no, it's not here. Okay, so we have wedding arch, chairs. We have a table for the, the cake. And then there's the bathrooms there in here. And then there's some stuff for like the kids to do. We don't have a swing here, unfortunately. And we can't carry a swing. So the only thing I can think of is we could either go into Edit Town before they get here and add one, which is probably the best idea, or buy one ourselves and place it here, which is a horrible idea. So let's go ahead and Edit Town just quickly. I want to just con just edit this really quickly and uh, add a baby swing so that we can bring over the baby because... I always feel bad when you have like f weddings and the babies are like, you know, babies or toddlers and they get left home and it's like they weren't even part of the wedding, like they weren't even good enough to be there. And so I want to be able to and like let the baby be part of the wedding. So let's go ahead and just put out a swing for the baby. Um, just one of these swings would be fine. Um, it's kind of brown themed with the chairs, so I'm going to go with this brown swing here. And let's see. I'll put it like, you know, right here. So it looks like they're actually watching. You know, whatever. All right, that's fine. We'll just put him in that swing there. Let's uh, return to the game. Just continue. And the only thing we need to pick up for this wedding is a, is a cake. So let's go ahead and pick up that cake. Which means we have to all go to the store together before we head over. Because we're going to head over before the wedding starts. Just so we're, you know, we're there when it starts. Where is the stupid store? Okay, am I missing it? This is not it. This is a restaurant. Um, excuse me. <laughs> I can't find myself. Where am I supposed to be going? The heck? I can't even find the freaking... Oh, here it is. Okay, um, so let's all go over here together. Let's, um... Okay, let's have you go here with Adeline, Brent, Marina, and Spencer. Okay. Alright, let's go pick up your guys' wedding cake and then we can go from there. Come on. Why are she. What the heck? <laughs> oh, it's a glitch in the app. <laughs> She's like, what the heck? What are you doing? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> I don't think he knows what he's doing. I don't know. I think everyone's coming now, though. So. Okay, where is everyone going? What is she doing? Oh, okay, we're getting in taxi. Come on, folks. You're gonna be late to your own funeral. Or. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, me not. You're going to be late to your own wedding because you guys can't figure out how to get in the car. Come on, Damien. In the car. Pop in there. Just pop in. Okay. Here we go. To the store. Woohoo. We're going to pick up a uh, wedding cake. I'm going to birthday cake. I am so all over the place. Birthdays, weddings, funerals. Can't keep it straight. I can't keep it straight today. I'm so flustered because I'm back in The Sims 3 and I haven't been playing Sims 3 in so long. Well, in a couple of days at least. Since, I think it was the day before Christmas. I think it was Mar I think it was Christmas Eve that everything went down. So horrible. Okay, let's go ahead and have you shop for groceries really quickly. I just want you to pick up one cake and get out of there. I might even buy a couple of fireworks set off after the wedding. So we'll see. Okay, let's go to the bottom because it's where it normally is and scroll up and we'll buy, not the birthday cake, I want a wedding. Here we go. Wedding cake and here we go. Um, let's get the golden, dra golden dragon fireworks. We'll get three of them. And that should be pretty good, I would think. Yeah. Okay. So he took a shopping trip. Okay. And now we're gonna... Oh, what's wrong with the baby? Oh, he needed the social. Okay, mom's got him. All right, we're gonna all go over here to this... Um... Where the heck is it? It's so far over here. Can we just click it this way? Yeah, here we go. Visit this lot with everyone. Take all of your chillins and your wife and your baby. Let's go. Don't wait. Don't wait forever. As you can tell, it's working much better with this mouse. It's like amazing. I love this mouse. <laughs> I'm like addicted. She looks so beautiful. Looks like she got her hair done for her wedding. It's cute. And then, oh, we should have brought a birthday cake as well. Lola, we're getting in a taxi here. I don't know what your issue is, but this is our taxi, jerky face. <laughs> don't be trying to steal my taxi. <laughs> Lola Bell is trying to steal my taxi. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going through town. We don't normally get out of the house very much in this LP because there's too many kids. But our kids are kind of aged up now. I mean, like, the two of them are, anyways. And here we go, across the bridge. Woohoo! Look at that car. It's not loaded, and it was, like, looked like a white block. <laughs> oh, it's too funny. Okay, well, it looks beautiful, nonetheless. Hey, taxi. There's a lot of taxis out right now. Do you notice that? Okay. I don't... I really honestly don't remember what time I set this wedding for. I wish I could, like, find out somehow. But I don't know how. So... This is what we live with. I'm trying to give you guys the view of, like, the town as we drive through it. But it's really hard. Because it keeps... The car keeps turning. Wee. Not that you guys probably haven't seen it, I'm just saying. I like to look at it, like, from this perspective, you know? Ooh, wrong way. I like to look at it from, like, the perspective of what, I guess, like, the Sims would see. Oh, whoa. Bam, here we are. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> it almost took us an hour to get here, because the taxi's so slow, you know? Unfortunately. We were invited to a party. We're having a wedding. We can't go to a party today. Oh, Damien's party is starting soon. A little setup might be in order. Don't forget the party is at Bogard Overlook. Oh, God. Now I'm, like, fretting and stewing. This is not Bogard. Okay. <laughs> Phew. Got a little scared. All right. Let's go ahead and put out the birthday. Or Here I go with the birthday stuff again. The wedding cake. And um, we'll put it up here. This is where it goes. Oops. Guess I didn't get it on there properly. There we go. Wedding cake is out for everyone. Okay. And let's put the fireworks out if I can. I don't know if I can set them down. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, good. Oh, I should have picked up four. Two, one for each of the kids and one for... Well, we'll pretend like mom and dad do this one together. Even though we know they're not going to do it together, we can pretend, right? There's no music up here as well. That's kind of weird. All right, so I'm going to have you go here, and I'm going to have you put Brent in the swing. I'll have you go here, and you go here, and we should all be good. Okay, 
I know the baby's upset. I know, I know. But putting him in that swing should help, I would think. Well, if it's a social, it's not going to help. So what is it? It's He's hungry as well, so we should probably feed him. Hold up. Where are you at? All right, give this kid a bottle. Give him a bottle. Snuggle him. And then you can put him in the swing. All right, Dad, go ahead and change into your formal wear. Spencer, change into yours. Adeline, change into yours. Alright, Spencer, you can sit right here. Adeline, you can sit right here. Mom, are you getting over here? Who's this? Christy Wilsonoff. I don't know who that is. Alright, so we're going to put the baby in the swing, which he's happy now, so it's good. This will actually keep him really happy, so we'll just... Get him swinging. We'll just get him swinging. Mm. Matthew Hamming wants to know if your child, Sim's child, would like to come play with, would like to play with his child. Should they come over? No, we're having a wedding, buddy. Sorry. Whoa, whoa, Damien, you don't gotta be so rude about it. <laughs> Crack it over there. Turn on slow. And then let's get you to change into your formal wear too. Change your outfit. Formal wear too. What is he doing? He's playing with his magic. Okay. So here she is in her wedding gown of the day. Alright, I think it starts at 5, to be honest. Kids. Stop it. What is she doing? Is she going to play with him? She is. Oh, she's watching little Brenty do. Alright, at 5 o'clock I'm doing the wedding. Because I want to get her a birthday cake. And I might have, um, I might just buy it and bring it over. I know that's bad, but we sh we already went to the store once and I forgot to get it. So, okay, here we go. Wedding time. Let's go ahead and get married. Stop it with the magic. Kids, sit down. Sit. And sit. Sit. We're going to have a beautiful wedding. This is why I want to do it now so you get like the sun set kind of effect. And these kids are going to drive me up a wall. They just need to keep sitting. Um, yes, watch wedding. Yes, do it. Do it, do it. Here we go. Wedding time. Here's our whole family. Hello. If I could get the baby. There he is. So Sit cold. down, Adeline. <laughs> oh. oh no. What's the matter, Damien? It's fine. Just have your wedding already. <laughs> are guys getting married? <laughs> yep, they're excited. They're like, yes, this is the best day of my life. What's the matter? You don't have commitment issues, do you? No, you just dislike children. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> really don't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting married. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've actually made tears in my eyes. Oh my god, it's such a beautiful wedding. <laughs> oh, Damien and Marina are now married. Woohoo! Alright, so we're all solaces now. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> All right, you want to cast a conversion spell? You want to chat with her? We could chat with her. <laughs> no one came to our wedding. I feel very sad. All right, so let's go ahead and have you guys cut the cake together. And, oh, yeah, they decide to do it on their own, so that's fine. All right, here we go. Cutting the cake. Cutting the cake with a beautiful view. I love the town. It's beautiful. Right, so everyone's gonna get a piece of cake. We just, we did just, you know, buy this cake. So, yeah. All right, they are now married. He married a celebrity, so he's really excited about that. I think everyone skipped out on our wedding. Okay, well, anyways. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Are they both celebrities now because they got married? Man, this is a lot of things. Phew. Man, seriousness. 
Okay, come on, cut the cake, please. Tova Vadish Yalva. So cute. Okay. <laughs> All right, grab a slice, everyone. Looney. It's red velvet cake, just so you know. <laughs> All right, just cut into the wedding cake. So we just cut the cake together. That was cute. Oh, they're getting cold. Oh, no. You want to congratulate your father? That would be a nice thing for you to do. Looks like no one is coming to the party. How sad. He's got a couple days off to get settled in. Yay, so we can have more babies. All right, before it's too late, I need to buy that birthday cake, don't I? All right, get to my house. I might have to stop her from eating that cake just so that I can get her to blow out her birthday candles. So I hate it when you don't actually... For the parents, normally I don't throw like a birthday party, normally, unless, you know, one of them wants to do that. Um, but I just feel bad, like, if you don't buy them a cake, like, what the heck, you totally forgot about them. That's how I kind of feel. So that's why when it comes to The Sims 4 and they get really sad that you forgot their birthday, I'm like, I really did. <laughs> like, you know, because it's how I would be. I would be all upset about it. And I don't want to feel that way. So I'm going to take this cake back. I'm going to put this cake out. I don't think she ages at eight. I think she ages at 10. So when she's done eating her cake, I'm going to have her do this. She wants to chat with Spencer. She wants to go on a honeymoon. I think we should. I think we should totally go on a honeymoon, maybe take everyone to um, Egypt. But the only bad thing is poor Brent can't go. I mean, you can go without him though. He'll just get a babysitter. That's it. So we could totally do that, but I don't know. We'll see. All right. So when she's in eating, mm. hopefully these kids will be done eating as well. But if not, then we can always have mm. them come back and eat it, you know? So I do want her to get that. Oh, I mean, you just want to turn the baby back on. So when she's mm. done, maybe she can go ahead and turn him on slow mm. again. Mm. And then we'll have the birthday party. Yeah, because I don't think she ages at eight. I think it's 10 when she ages. Oh, that's real nice. Just, don't worry about it. Just throw it on the ground. <laughs> Oh, oh no, it is eight. No, I thought it was ten for the adults. Oh no. Uh, whoa. Whoa. All right. All right. She's just. Marina's a fully mature adult. She'll really need to think about establishing herself in her career and family life while there's still time. Oh, I feel so sad. Like, I bought you this cake and everything. I'll just sell it. What? Someone else having a party. Oh, no, he's celebrating her birthday. Okay. Whew, I almost had a heart attack. I thought I forgot someone else's birthday as well. All right, so she became an adult. Normally, at least try to get them cake. But I guess we'll pretend like the wedding cake was her cake. Okay. Um, can you please... Get your child. Uh, give him a bottle. Harmony is now a toddler? Okay. Stop it. Children. Stop. You want to warm up? Okay. Mom, before you go anywhere, we're actually going to get you guys to woohoo, possibly, if we can. Um, I don't know if there's any place we can woohoo here, but we will try our best. Just, just, just. All right, Mom, since Dad, why don't you, since Dad's got the baby, why don't you go ahead and launch these off, guys? Um, go ahead and... Fireworks are too dangerous for kids. Oh, I got them so that they could do them. Oh, no. All right, we'll go over here. And you go over here. Okay, well, she's launching it, so we're going to go up into map view because I want to see it. All right, share the memory. Gave a fireworks display. This is too loud. Oh, no, hurry. It's too loud. All right, here we go. Here we go. Bam, smiley faces. Oh gosh, oh gosh, we're gonna miss it. Here we go. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, so pretty. All right, one more. Come on. Come on, Damien. Oh, is she doing them all? Okay, here we go. A plum bob! Woohoo! <laughs> all right. All right, before I end this, I know my timer's up. I get it. I got it. I, I'm good. Okay. Um, is there like a shower in this lot or something? No. 
Fine. I was going to have them woohoo and try for the next baby, but they can't woohoo on any of these things. They could light a bonfire. We're not done up here yet. I think we'll light a bonfire. We'll just spend some time. Why are you going? You're not going home. He's like, I hate kids. <laughs> He's like running away from them. <laughs> All right. Why don't you come over here and should we light the bonfire? No, let's light the fire pit. I don't ever use these things. So we'll light this. And mom, why don't you put Brent in the swing and I'm going to have you sit at the fire and you sit at the fire. I think they can roast marshmallows at this. That'd be really cute. They want to warm up too. So this is a way that they can warm up as next to these things. I think they get the warm mood lit or something from it. Barrington Webb, get away from us, freak. We're trying to do stuff. Okay, and when you're done, go ahead and sit at the bonfire. Okay, can she do anything at this? Yeah, she can roast marshmallows. Do it. Do it up. Roast the marshmallow. All right, turn them on slow. And then come roast the marshmallow. And you can roast the marshmallow. And it can be something they can do together as a family. I know the baby's over there kind of away from everyone, but he's sleeping. So we're going to pretend like we didn't want to wake him because he was sleeping. And yeah. All right, here we go. This is cute. And you wanted to chat with your wife. I think you can also chat while you sit here. Yeah, chat with her. All right. She learned to talk. Okay. He's sleeping on a community lot. How cute. It's cute that he gets the mood lit. <laughs> or not the mood lit, the memory. <laughs> All right. This is something that they can do together, you know? It's cute. All right. And you wanted to congratulate your father. So... I don't know if you can do it while you're sitting, though. All right. This rain is loud. Adeline, calm down. Why don't you go to the bathroom? All right, I'm going to get the kids into the bathroom. Who is this lady? Paparazzi. Oh, God. Come on. Give us a day without paparazzi. We're, you know, have, trying to have a lovely meal with our children. And we can't even do that because you freaks are all over us. And we're just trying to be a normal family. Go away. <laughs> that's, how the be that's when the beast comes out. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's be friendly. And congratulate him. There we go. Congratulate. Oh, he warmed up. Good. Good, good, good. All right, are you going to talk, chat with her? Because we did want to do that. Oh, Marina, he's trying to talk to you. So listen. What are they doing? Follow and follow. All right, well, I guess I'm just going to send them all home because it is getting pretty late. So let's go ahead and have them all head home. Don't forget the baby. Please don't forget the baby. Please don't forget the baby. Oh no. If they forget the baby, it's gonna be really sad. Right, go here with Adeline, Brent, Marina, Spencer. Bam. Alright, so that should be pretty good. He wants to play with magic. He can do that if he really wants to. We set off all the fireworks and we've got the cake in our inventory. Before I end this, I do need to get the cake over there and in the fridge, actually. And then I'll end it and then we'll head home in the next episode because um I do have to uh, get going. I'm over my time now. All right, let me go ahead and put that away because I don't want it to go bad. You know, it's just it's just the thing that you do. You have your wedding cake in the fridge for laters. Okay, so that should be good. I think this ran much better. Let me know if you guys think so. Um, also, let me know if you guys watch the update video. Please leave a comment about the issue that I'm having and. Um, I will talk to you guys in the very next one. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. In the description below is a, just, is a donation link, as well as the links to my Twitch and my Twitter. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.